Welcome to episode eight twenty nine. Romesh Radwani from polio kid to multi billionaire. It's an outline of episode eight twenty nine. There are two reasons we study Romesh Radwani. First, he's the most charitable Indian billionaire. He vows to give eighty percent of his wealth to charity. Second, he arrived in the United States with less than two fifty. In 1969, I've been an entrepreneur for more than 45 years now. I've probably done 35 companies during this period of time. So, so I speak with experience when I say that there's absolutely nothing in life more exciting than being an entrepreneur. Being an entrepreneur is all about creation. You have a completely open canvas on which you can create the kind of company that. Fits your dreams, that can help society, that can help other people. It is just an absolutely phenomenal opportunity. He was born in Karachi in 1947. I've learned the power of resilience. My family was evicted from Karachi during partition when I was only a few days old, and we arrived in Delhi with nothing. Then two years later, when I was two, I was diagnosed with polio. Because of bad water, when I look back, that was the best thing that happened to me, because it forced me to be resilient, and at a very early age to learn about how to overcome obstacles and challenges, and not to become a lifelong victim of polio. Next, from IIT Bombay, India, to Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh. Uh, India with a very small amount of money. I had less than two dollars and fifty cents when I arrived in Pittsburgh.、Uh, so the first challenge was to get a student loan. The U.S.、Uh, at that time, perhaps even now, has a great uh, uh, scheme called the Council for International Visitors. So I was, in a sense, adopted by a Pittsburgh family through the Council of International Visitors. Next. 125 rejections, and then I decided to start my first company. And the first company was in security systems and energy management systems for commercial buildings. And、uh, I was not a U.S. citizen, so、uh, I had a student visa, which had just become a green card.、Uh, since I had no track record as an entrepreneur, and it was 1972, the U.S. was in the middle of a recession.、Um, I had to go to 125 venture capital firms. By the way, there were none in Pittsburgh,、yes. so all these firms were in New York and Boston, and some on the West Coast. So 125 firms to get $150,000. It was incredibly painful. Spec Development is a company he founded in 1991. He took it public in 1996 and sold to I2 in 2000 for $9.3 billion. He was a billionaire very briefly because the stock price of I2 lost 95 percent of its value in just two years. That's how he came back and make billions. In 2002, he founded Symphony Technology Group. STG is a private equity firm investing in about 20 technology companies. A very rich man now. He would become India's most charitable billionaire. Organization does. Well,、uh, your viewers may not be aware that I'm giving away 80% of my net worth through my foundation, so it's a fairly large amount. And I have a specific focus for my foundation, which is job creation in the emerging economies, with a particular focus on India. And we are executing that mission through three sets of large-scale initiatives. One in entrepreneurship, one in innovation, one in skilling. He started Symphony AI in 2018 when he was 70 years old. And that's why my belief is, in this golden age of AI, be bold or go home. I'd like to ask all of you a question and see if someone will raise their hand. How many seventy-year-olds do we have in the audience who are doing a startup? I see one, I see two, I see three, and I'm sure there are others I can't see. 
Uh, welcome, brothers. <laughs> we are all going to be in this together. And we're Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Romesh Vahvani, 10 Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.